another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I was planning on making a video of five really underappreciated chronographs. But unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, um, Rolex just teased at one of their new models. So I figured I wanted to cover it today instead, so all you guys, if you haven't seen it, can go take a look. But don't worry, for all you chronograph buffs waiting for five underappreciated chronographs, that video is definitely coming out this weekend. Uh, and of course, before we get started, today I'm wearing the IWC Vintage Collection Engineer Laureus, a watch that I'm still in love with, um, even though I've owned it for years. It doesn't get much wrist time because of my informal attire, but um, you know, I wore it last night and I wanted to continue wearing it today. And of course, for all you guys that don't know, but I'm sure all of you do because I say it every video, go check out DelrayWatch.com. I actually just got a couple of new pieces in stock, and next week I'm getting a couple of very, very rare watches, so stay tuned, Delray Watch Supply, DelrayWatch.com, a link in the description below. But anyway, so what's going on? Well, you guys may know that Basel World is really, really soon, and that is the big watch fair where a lot of brands release their new models. And of course, the most highly anticipated models are going to be released by Rolex. In fact, I made a video um, last week, and I'm going to link it right up here in case you haven't seen it, about three rumored Rolex watches that are going to come out. Well, Rolex Today has released on their official YouTube channel a teaser of this new watch. And that is also going to be linked in the description below. I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed to the official Rolex YouTube channel, so this is a good opportunity to go there and subscribe and take a look at the new teaser video. And uh, this very short video shows a Jubilee bracelet on what looks to be an oversized professional case. Uh, it doesn't show the dial of the watch, it just shows the back of the watch and the Jubilee with the professional buckle. And of course, 99.9% .9 sure that this is going to be a, G a new GMT Master 2 on a Jubilee. A watch that hasn't existed in decades and that is a collector favorite. I'm really excited about this. I mean, I love the old Jubilee look on the professionals. Um, however, the old Jubilee bracelets were really, really rattly. And these new Super Jubilees are fantastic. They're very solid. And people have kind of been thinking now that they release this how long is it going to take Rolex to put it on a sports model and I think we just got our answer now of course we don't know if it's a GMT Master 2 a Yacht Master or a sub but historically this bracelet really belongs on a GMT Master 2 and also we didn't get to see the bezel but I'm kind of hoping they also release the Coke bezel GMT because if we got a Coke bezel GMT Master 2 on a Jubilee Man, that's like a vintage Rolex lover's dream. A reissue of one of the most iconic watches of all time. And also, one of these teasers, I mean, this is a lot more clear than when the Sky Dweller came out. I remember Rolex also released a teaser video about this, like, weird dial. But, of course, the Sky Dweller had never existed before, so no one knew what the hell they were looking at. But watching this video, I think it's unmistakable. I mean, of course, there's always a 0.01% chance... I'm misreading it, but I think it's pretty blatant that we're going to be looking at a sports model on a Jubilee bracelet, um, and I definitely believe that's going to be a GMT Master 2. Anyway, guys, I suggest you go take a look at this video. Judge for yourself. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, are you excited about this move? What do you think? I know I'm definitely excited. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to purchase one or if I want to purchase one. And I know the Oyster is a lot more popular in general, the Oyster bracelet. But a lot of people have been clamoring for this. And I think Rolex is giving people what they want. But I'd love to get your input on this. Take a look at the video in the description below. That's after you use a Delray wash supply. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching a shorter little episode of Federico Talks Watches. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you don't miss my video on five extremely underrated chronographs that'll be coming out this weekend. 
and of course, Basil World. It's an exciting time. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.